Carol here. A warm welcome to my craft room. Well, yesterday I went over to Buffalo Stamp and Stuff. Sharon had put these away for me. This is the Stormy Sky and Tumbled Glass, the Dusty Concord and Sponge Sugar, the Crushed Olive and Mowed Lawn, the pa Old Paper and Mustard Seed, the Tea Dye and Barn Door, and of course the ripe persimmon and ground espresso next. So I had these put away when they first came out but due to illness and breaking my foot I couldn't get over there till yesterday and Sharon was gracious enough to hold the products that I had asked her to hold for me and she didn't mind waiting until I could get over there. So I wanted to share a little update on this. I bought some of the purple tape I put that away as well when it came out and I thought I'd try this Blackout Ink 3. Uh, it's called, yeah, Detailed Ink and it's hybrid. You can't go wrong there. And then I bought the large of the crystal drops. I have the small one I was running out and I didn't have much time. This is still hard to walk on my foot. And I told my granddaughter, make sure you go shop at Tuesday morning and here's the Distress um, Resist Spray. I couldn't wait to get that either. And uh, she went shopping there and then I said, in a half an hour, you come get me. <laughs> yeah, that way I don't do too much damage in the store. So um, this is all of the alcohol inks I had left that I hadn't used up yet. 3, 6, 9, 12, I think it was 15 bottles and they're like half full and they're the old stock colors and I want to do some tutorials using the alcohol inks so there was a display at the back of the store that had all of the new colored inks and beside it it had um, the container that you hold them in. Now I have um, my organizational things for this sort of thing and my Stampin' Up! inks are in, um, they're the uh, Stampin' Storage units at the end of my island. I use that, but sometimes it's hard to go down there and keep taking, you know, my stickles are down there and yada yada. So I decided to buy one of these tins. They, it was $8.99 or $8.50 or something like that. And I already put them away, but uh, the color, the new colors, it's so funny. There was 30 of them that I didn't have. And guess how many holes are to be filled in this container? You guessed it, 30. <laughs> so now I have the new colors. They're beautiful. They're just beautiful. So, um, yeah, so I, that was very quick. You know, if you have a stand of 30 alcohol inks, all you have to do is Bloop, 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 put them in your cart and that's it and then of course you're going to need the alcohol ink um, that goes with it and uh, yeah so I had I already had some of these that is the blending solution alcohol blending solution sorry I walked away to make sure I got the right name now look at this this stamp by Lavinia it's a UK stamp and it looks just like seaweed. I couldn't get over it. I had to have that. And then I wanted to have these cloud dies, the My Favorite Things and Tailored Expressions. They're two different sizes. So I bought those and uh, yeah, that's a project I'm doing. And then this uh, embossing folder was very intriguing. It was the most beautiful background scene with a church and uh, cottages, snow-filled trees. It's made by Crafter Companion. Just look at it. And it's a 3D 5x7 folder. I think it's absolutely stunning. So I grabbed a piece of silver uh, paper. Uh, and it's rather thick and I thought to myself I'm going to see just quickly uh, this isn't a card tutorial or anything but I wanted to see how it would look and I'll leave all the information on my blog of course if you're interested. So I cut that off. I ran this through my Big Shot Pro, Pro I think it is, the bigger one because I have it already ready for um, just running embossing folders through. 
And it was really nice. See that scene? Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, for Christmas cards, right there. You could just leave it just like that. And I'm just showing you how beautiful this was. And I think it was only 1050 US. I mean, all of this, you know, I'm Canadian. So uh, there, it showed it kind of in the patina look. I thought it was quite nice. And I really did like that, uh, that stamp there by Lavinia that looks like seaweed. So I grabbed some of my older alcohol inks because they were right there. And I thought I was going to see what it looked like just to put the alcohol ink over top of the foil paper. And I used a baby wipe. Don't do this. This is what not to do. It just picked it up and... and <laughs> okay, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, I just literally put it on and wiped it off with the baby wipe. Uh, yeah, so don't use that technique. <laughs> That's, yeah, so I thought, okay, I'll try it again. And then I will just uh, grab a little bit. Actually, I grabbed toilet paper. Can you believe it? Yes, the good old toilet paper because I ran out of paper towels. That's why I used the baby wipe. I'm out of paper towels. I can't believe it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to need to do something with that. I can't leave it, you know, just with the blue on it. So I, I'm pretty sure I ran to the bathroom off my craft room here. Oh, I'm showing a friend uh, what it looked like. It actually bled through the paper. This isn't real foil paper. It's silver paper over top of paper. So it's not the real foil paper. So that's why it bled through. It's just like a normal paper with a silver um, top on it, I guess. You should say like a silver hat on top. So here I'm going over it with the green, just doing the leaves and seeing uh, how it would look like this. And I'm telling you, it was just coming alive. I mean, there's so many things you can do. This is just experiential learning here, just to see if you take an embossing folder, how quick, if you had to do a lot of cards, this would be wonderful. So I switched to the um, more of a brown, alcohol ink and I went over that and it was just bringing this town alive and you wouldn't even have to do anything else here except for I think I grabbed the blending solution if I'm right and decided to see if I could uh, move it a little bit yep there it is and yeah it moved it it brought out the silver again like it just uh, it didn't move the colors like I had planned but it's not bad. Like if you had to fix something up, say you did a tree and it ended up with purple on it, you could move it out of the way so you could put green. And here's my toilet paper. Um, and I, I wiped it down just uh, to see what I could get here. And I really like that uh, mystique to that. I'm showing my friend. See how it just bled through there? I thought, can you see that? Like I'm showing her on there. Isn't that amazing That how different that is? It, uh, you still have the 3D look and it has a lot of snow on there, like snow-capped trees and, um, yeah, it's already dry, Carol. You don't have to worry about that. Once it hits the paper, that alcohol ink is dry. That's wonderful too. But I thought you could use, you know, snow, um, you know, that imitation snow stuff and put on there as a card. You could do it as a window scene. And you could do it as a shaker and have little pieces of white glitter glass in there. It would look so pretty as a Christmas card. And uh, yeah, so I was just experimenting for a minute. Uh, you're going to have to squirt some of that blending solution to get that off. But it does come off that uh, mat on the side of your glass plate. And uh, yeah, so I thought, okay, I knew I was going to put this up. I'm saying, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Yeah, and if you cut it down, it's even better. You can see the trees like drooping with the snow and the church is kind of centered right in the middle. Beautiful, for $10.50 US for this 3D um, Crafter's Companion 5x7 embossing folder, I think it's great. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna take my 140 pound cardstock and see what it looks like embossed one time through the uh, machine, the, my um, embossing machine there. And I brought it back out and uh, literally 
it popped out beautifully. I mean, the, the image was gorgeous. It did, it was 3D. And I think you'll really love this. If you want, I'm grabbing some archival ink in the blue here. If you want a quick um, card for Christmas and you have to do multiples, I think this would be beautiful. So it's kind of in a teal color here, the turquoise teal. And I just went ink to paper just to see how much of the 3D effect would catch the ink. And then I grabbed the hybrid ink from LDRS Creative and I went over the top. This is not going to be a card. I was just experimenting. Okay, maybe I can catch the trees and the, the houses, like the roof on the houses. And uh, then I cut, you know, some of it off just to see what it would look like behind some teal paper. And it was beautiful. I mean, quick, easy peasy. So anyway, there you have it. It's my little quick haul. I wanted to get this up and show you uh, these few little items in case you were interested in checking them out for a project you have. And look at that. I mean, right there, then you put a Merry Christmas across there with one of your sentiment dies, and it's perfect. Thank you very much, as always. You have yourself a blessed weekend and a blessed week. I will see you on the next tutorial. I'm putting up my canvas next. And thank you for your comments and for subscribing. And uh, I look forward to uh, doing some really nice uh, cards with these alcohol inks and oxide inks. All right, take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon.